Hey guys, this is Pete from Hoyt Street. This tutorial is to demonstrate how to pair and use your Hoyt Street remote. So the first thing you gotta do is turn it on. That's the power button right there. Hold that for a couple seconds and it turns on. So it's vibrating and flashing because it's not paired to a board. My board's not on right now. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate how to pair it first. So turn the remote off and then hold these three buttons simultaneously. So it's flashing green. Once it's doing that, I turn on my board and it's paired. Uh, you shouldn't have to do that if you buy a board because we ship all the boards paired to their remotes already. Um, so that's if you buy the remote individually or if you somehow get your remote unpaired, if you have two remotes or something like that. But yeah, you shouldn't have to worry about that every time you turn on the board. It's just a one-time thing that stays paired even when you turn it off. So let's talk about next, the throttle wheel is right here. So you push it to go, pull it back to brake. Uh, this button right here, M is for mode. You push it and that changes which mode you're in. So one vibration means you're in mode one, beginner mode. Two vibrations means you're in mode two. And three vibrations means you're in mode three. Um, now let's talk about this button right here. That's R for reverse. So if you're left-handed, the, the wheel is backwards for you. So you hold that and now the wheel direction is switched. So now you can push to go, brake to reverse. This fourth button is just for some added functionality for updating the firmware or calibrating your remote. You shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Um, we have a lanyard on the back. We recommend you put it around your wrist to prevent accidental drops, protect your remote. Um, the charge port is down here. It's micro USB. Uh, the when the board or when the remote gets down to 10%, it'll vibrate and beep at you just to let you know that it's almost out of battery. So you just plug that in, and it takes about half an hour to charge. Um, there's some extra features with the power button, so click it once and it turns on those lights just for some added visibility at night or if you're in a dark place and need some some quick light it's not super bright but it can be useful click it again to turn it off and then if you double click that it puts your board in safe mode so the board is on the remote is on but it's you're locked out so that's nice for if you need to you know let your remote dangle while you are digging around in, in your backpack or whatever just so you don't accidentally bump the wheel and board goes flying or you know if you're accidentally touching it you can burn yourself if the the wheel or the motor is spinning against you so yeah just for some extra safety and convenience double click it to turn it off and hold the remote the button down to turn it off and that's the Hoyt Street remote hope you enjoy it